Okay, all right, start his again. Name, his name was Bonnie Prince Charles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was called him Charlie. Okay. He was half Persian and half Siamese. His mother was. We own the mother. His father was a traveling salesman. <laughs> <laughs> and he must have had a lot of Persian in him. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know, never did really worry, weren't sure who the father was, but the mother got pregnant. She was half Siamese and half Persian. Mm -hmm. She was a beautiful cat. Siamese are funny cats to deal with anyway. But Charlie had the best nature, was one of the best cats ever born. He was born at the foot of my bed. And he grew to be about as big as that dog. <laughs> so hey, he was, we called him a God cat, <laughs> not a God dog. So anybody that came in the garden had to look out for him because he was, he was on, the, you know, he would observe people and he knew people and he knew who was good and who was bad. <laughs> so one day we'd seen the snake go across. I caught a glimpse of the snake going around in front of the house. And we had a, a small mango tree and a, like a pool shed where the pump and everything was in. And Charlie liked to lay up on top of the shed, uh, the pool house, overlooking the pool, underneath the shade of the mango tree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I kept, I kept went running around the house because I thought it was a brown snake, and it must have been about a meter long. And I couldn't see him anywhere, and I said, Charlie, did you see that damn snake? <laughs> Did you see him go by? Because I figured he must have gone by. <laughs> and the cat looked at me and he looked around and he hopped, hopped down off the shed, which was about six feet high because I could just walk in, yeah. where the pool, the pump was for the pool. Mm -hmm. And he got, on the, got down on the ground and he kind of looked around at me and I followed him. And he walked over to the paddock, which was about, the horse paddock, which was about uh, 30 or 40 feet away. And he went under the fence. Mm -hmm. And I crawled through the fence. Jeez. And I had, had the paddock mowed for a while, and the grass was probably six inches high, six to eight inches high. And he, he started creeping through the grass, mm -hmm. one step at a time. And he walked over, he kept creeping over, and all of a sudden the snake reared up out of the grass. Oh reared up on it, and the brown snakes would do that. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't retreat, they would never run away. They would come up, okay. stand up, and they'd take an uh, aggressive approach mm -hmm. to warn you to get the hell away. And they usually tried to flatten the heads out to make them look bigger. Mm -hmm. And he would sit there, and the snake was going like this, and the cat crept through the grass with me behind him. <laughs> and he got up within about three or four feet of that snake. Mm -hmm. And he went into an attack position. <laughs> one, the front foot, <laughs> one foot was in front, one was behind, and his two real feet were behind him, yeah. like he was going to pounce on that snake. <laughs> but I didn't want him to get bitten. No. But <laughs> Anyway, the scene was the cat was pointing with a gaze, gazing at the snake's eyes. Mm -hmm. The snake was on a strike position, and they came within about two feet of each other. Oh my gosh. And both of them were dead still. The cat looking at the snake, the snake look, gazing at the cat, <laughs> and the cat mesmerized the snake. In other words, this, he hypnotized that damn snake. Oh I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Daddy stood, <laughs> frozen, <laughs> frozen, a frozen portrait of a cat and a snake. Oh, my goodness. Both in an attack position. <laughs> oh, One thing was the cat was, was a big cat. Mm -hmm. And the snake, they, they are leery of cats because uh -huh. cats are so quick. Yeah. Anyway, I <clears throat> walked around, picked up a big stick which was about four feet long, mm -hmm. good solid piece of limb off one of the gum trees. I walked around behind that damn snake. Mm -hmm. 
And it was like, you know, Babe Ruth hitting a baseball. I said, whack. And that was all she wrote as far as the snake. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is a true story. 